Welcome back to episode two of my vlog. To all those who watched the last one, I appreciate you all. I'm sure as I grow a number, might be some different stuff, uncertain yet. Also uncertain the direction I'm going with this other than using YouTube as a platform to put a bit more of my footage up that I record. Because I do record quite a bit throughout the week, so. Longer videos, a bit more completeness. Um, that's the idea of it. It's just, yeah, get that extra detail up. Um, it might evolve into me posting my workouts once again. I did do that for a period of time a little while ago. See what people are interested in. Otherwise, they can just look at my rude head on the internet going for it. But, uh, brings to today's session. Sunday, it's raining, so I was planning on doing some yoke, but I don't feel like doing a mischief. So I've changed that to an Atlas Stone-esque session without stones. So a lot of it's lo the loaded extension um, into triple extension. And I'll throw some push presses in just to get used to having those heavier things in my chest as well. Again, working towards those log goals that I've set myself for this year. Um, so yeah, we'll crack into it. These are a great way to cook the erectors. So that was 100 kilo. Kept going up a bit. These are tough, but it's the closest way I can simulate the triple extension for Atlas Stones without having Atlas Stones. So keep plugging away, see what I get to. Again, the usual plan, main lift for the moment. It's a heavy single. Um, come comp day, it's 125 for reps over a hundred, uh, 1.2 meter bar. So let's see what I can punch out today. Hopefully it's something respectable. Um, and we'll go from there. I was hoping for something a bit more than 120, but I don't feel like passing out on supervised, so the head spin was real. Good little modified version now, so deadlift it up, put it on the lap, and then take it from the lap to extension. See how that goes. Hopefully it's a bit better. Well, let's find out. I don't know if it's a slight redemption or not, but got 120. Not the way I wanted to get 120. I digress. I'll definitely work on that. Put a bigger number up from the floor in the most awkward position possible. It's going to be fun. Four weeks till comp, pretty much. So, let's keep cracking on. Push press is next. Um, Again, I'm just having some fun with this one because I enjoy push press. And like I was saying, helps the just having weight on the chest. Um, one RM today-ish, depending how stuff feels. I'm not planning on killing myself, but it's always nice to put something a bit heavier over your head. It's almost like a redemption arc for the 130 log the other night. So let's see how we go.
given I can't remember the last time I push pressed. Got 130. Looking at the video, triceps were lagging. Evident. But sometimes you just gotta go up that little bit and have a crack and see if you've just gotta confirm your suspicion, which I did. I had to go at 140. Had to bend that. Again, triceps were the issue, just got to that sticking point. So now it's time to abuse my triceps a bit. Get them to grow, they love volume. I don't do enough volume in my triceps, I know that. The powerlifting phase I went through definitely encourages it because with your bench press, triceps you may move her. So more volume in the triceps to put something heavier overhead. So it's Monday today. I was gonna take a rest day, but <clears throat> you know as a parent I have one of those days with the children. I had one of those days with the children. So my way of de-stressing is lifting heavy things. Would have been nice if it had stopped raining and I could have run the yoke, but it's still raining, so no yoke for me. So I'm gonna do some press assistance and press work. Uh, it's gonna consist of a main lift being a banded strict press with the log. Um, and then going into some searcher squats for that upper back development. Because uh, I find for me, searchers just fry my upper back, it's amazing. And then just going on to some more tricep um, and back assistance just to keep progressing that along. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Let's get after it. For those of you watching at home, this is heinous, especially at the top. Probably something on the lines of 60-ish pounds of band tension. Um, I'll have to get the scale out and have a measure so I've got accurate, um, accurate number, but I'm guesstimating about 60 pounds. I'll confirm that, but it's heinous. A lot of fun, but heinous. So for those who care about the weight, not sure if all of you do, but weight it with a little orange thing behind me, hang scale. It's 23 kilos of band tension, which makes it about 50 pounds at the top, so it's a little ways off. Combine that with a 82 kilo log. She's a bit spicy when you strict pressing it, at least for me anyway, as I keep reiterating. I'm not a great presser, so that's why I'm working my butt off to try and get good at it, especially in the absence of being able to yoke right now. So I might as well work on another weakness I've got. So for those who've done any sort of zercher squatting before, feel free to disagree with me on this. I find the hardest part is breathing because that bar's sitting right in my belly. So that last set was 120, legs are good. Uh, next is 140. Let's see if I can nail it for another set of five. If not, then I have to call it there and move on to some assistance.
So it's Tuesday, still raining, already potentiated. So my main movement tonight is axle bar squats. Um, probably work up to a heavy triple at this stage. See how I'm feeling, I'm a bit jacked up from the last few days of training. Um, and after that, have the hamstrings a bit with some deficit stiff leg deadlifts. So, see how that pans out tonight, what numbers I can hit, um, see how the body's faring, probably due for a rest day at this stage, but whilst I can keep pushing, I'm going to keep pushing. Um, not that it's anything out of the ordinary, but I like training, it's my mental break from the life of looking after little people. So, yeah, squat straight up, see what I can do. Just wanted to get the axle in the background, given that 220 a couple of years ago used to be quite the barrier. I'd miss it more often than not. And then to do it tonight for three with bare knees on an axle, I'm very happy with. And let's be honest, axles make everything look so much tougher. That's the joy of strong man. It's Friday, it's finally stopped raining, so I can get on the yoke, do some throwing, I'm excited. I have the peanut gallery with me, still single parenting, it's been a great week. Luckily the wife is back on Sunday, I'm very keen for that. But, I'm getting some yoke, see how it feels. I'm actually recovering quite well at the moment, so. Are you being on the radio? Making a video. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, me back. Two more days until mum's home. Yeah. Two more days. Two more days with the peanut gallery. Mum's gonna be on the plane tomorrow. Dad. Yeah. It's fun. All right, let's get into training, shall we? Yeah. yeah. About four weeks out from comp. That's the first time hitting the comp weight for yoke. Didn't feel too bad. Now it's a case of add a little bit more next week and just make it feel light in the back come comp day. So I'll keep up on it and just hit the distance. That's uh, how I'm prepping for it and hopefully the fast week come along with it and get no drops on the day. That would be nice. The yoke felt pretty good, but this throwing just doesn't feel right today. So I'm gonna do a bit more rolling of the spine, see if we've got a limitation there. 
If I can open that up a bit, maybe I can hit my seven meter mark. So far I haven't got it yet. I don't like it because I was getting pretty consistent. So do some mobility, see if it's an extension issue, have a couple more throws, go from there. So sad day, back in the gym. Throwing didn't go so well yesterday, so I'm gonna have another crack at that today. Uh, what's on the cards other than that is gonna be some log press and double press being one of the events for natural aspirated and deadlift for reps. So gonna pull that on deadlift bar, got a little bit of comp weight, because uh, we still haven't got any clarification on the bar being used, so just covering all bases. Um, I feel all that out. Hopefully throwing feels better. Like I was saying before, because it was rubbish yesterday. Just I don't know what was going on, but why not just do some more volume as I can. So yeah, starting off log press uh, into alternating dumbbells or reps. So that last set was 90 and 35, 35 is comp weight, 90 is not. I'm going crack at 100, which is just over comp weight. Um, let's see if I'm fight for the first one, which if I do get it, I believe it's a PR. So that would be a little win for today, which would be nice. So try and vibe for the first one. Again, two reps apiece, just to feel it out, see how gassed I'll get. Um, yeah, let's get after it. tough because of the loadable dumbbells. They just like to roll everywhere. This. So when I put it in the crook of me hip, it's the end of that dumbbell, just digging right in. It's not fun. And then just, I think it was the second rep, just rolled right out. So that's the wrap, I got it. Hopefully on the day they're not using loadables, they're using fixed weight ones. So they should tidy that uh, clean right up. Make it a bit more efficient. So I'm not using so much energy getting the damn things to my shoulders. But at least these and these weights, if I can get to the shoulders, I've got the press. So there's no concern there, it's just how gassed I get. <sighs> Onto some deadlifts. <laughs> Thank you. 
powering through this deadlift much faster than the log press, which is nice. The uh, peanut gallery has disappeared somewhere in the backyard, so that's okay. Jumping from 220 straight to 260, hit three, I'll be happy. Hit five, that'd be ideal. Um, see how the back's faring after yoke yesterday. never learned how to count. I've got three. I try not to fail reps in training. Ooh. Well, I lie. I don't mind failing reps in training, but given I'm four weeks out from the competition, I don't want to fail reps. It's not worth the neurological fatigue imposed. So 260 for three. They felt okay. So should be a decent number on comp day. I'm gonna try and push this again next week for five. So, yeah, keep cracking on. Do some bag throwing now to round out the event day. get my banner in the background yeah, it's pretty cool might be a bit biased though anyway that concludes this week's vlog if you made it this far I appreciate you thanks for watching if you want to spread the word spread the word otherwise it's no skin off my nose I'm just doing this as more of an experiment at the moment I've got no idea what direction I'm gonna go with it um, other than it's just the ability to showcase a bit more of the footage I record because I do have a fair bit of it I just uh, only put so much up on the Instagram and then get shared to Facebook or whatever so again appreciate you guys if you made it this far I'll be putting together the next week's one as of tomorrow um, yeah look out for that cheers